Santa Marta has beaches, sand, and beautiful landscapes. Santa Marta has fantastic nightlife, clubs, and restaurants. But not just those a spectacular ways to spend a holiday in our beloved city. We also have the privilege of having museums where you can learn our heritage. It's worth visiting them when you come here. Welcome to Santa Marta, the Caribbean Pier. This is Lisa Martinez. This is Ana Valderrama. I'm, I'm Veronica. Join us. This time we are a place to present you the Claustro San Juan Epomuceno and Ethnographic Museum, places of interest where are samples of the folklore and history of our region are shown and also the most beautiful paintings reflecting the Costeño culture. The Ignography Museum. The Ignography Museum is located in First Avenue with 22 Street. This museum of the University of the Magdalena project is part of the academic research and cultural strategies of the university. At the same time, it presents to the public the history of our city, the characters, places and everyday life that integrate the character of the region, academic and scientific communities. In each one of the three rooms that the museum has, we narrate the important events that mark our stage. These three rooms are Al Vaivén de las Olas del Mar Caribe y el Río Grande de la Magdalena, Santa Marta, Santa Marta Tiene, y la Sierra Nevada de Santa Marta, Tierra de Hombres y de Dioses. They narrate events since the conquests of the Spaniards, the pre-Columbian era, and the history of this building and the old San Juan de Dios Hospital and our imposing and beautiful mountain, La Sierra Nevada de Santa Marta. Construction began in 1765 and also is was inaugurated on May 30, 1810. The official date of completion of the work was the 4th of January, 1811. There was much trouble, trouble to construct it. Initially, the real name of this building was El Real Seminario Conciliar. It's located in the corner of the 17th Street with the 2nd Avenue. In this building have taken place multiple functions of political, social and cultural life of the history of the Samarios, as it served as a seminar for many years.
Today, it is run by Magdalena University, which changed into the Cultural Center San Juan Nepomuceno on December 13, 23. It revives and preserves the historical and cultural heritage of the city. In the last years, has lent its location for all kinds of cultural events, such as launching of books, lectures, art exhibitions, and poetry readings, and other activities supported by the departmental governor's office and the university. As we have seen, there are other ways to enjoy the city, not only sun and beach. With the previous activities, this is a good way to learn more about the city that has it all. Santa Marta!